Hello and welcome to another Wilderness Tamed Gardening video. In this one we're removing some uh, artificial turf because according to the client it was the worst mistake they ever made and we're replacing it with a wildflower seed mix. Excellent. Because we're taking this stuff up it doesn't biodegrade so it's going to have to go into landfill. That's how green and environmentally friendly artificial grass is. So as you can see on close inspection this artificial turf, fake grass, is in fact full of weeds and moss. <laughs> uh, I think I've mentioned before on the video about trees that moss will grow everywhere and anywhere and it's impossible to stop it from growing where it wants to grow. Um, so I'm going to suck up these leaves with the leaf sucker upera and uh, see what uh, the state of play is. I've never removed this stuff before. Um, hopefully this will be the first of many artificial lawns that go the distance and uh, are replaced by native wildflower seed mixes. That's what I'm keeping my fingers crossed for. But uh, yeah, what dreadful stuff. <laughs> so yeah, as easy as that. Literally, it's held together with jointing tape, um, and I think it was just it's probably just the weight of the moss and the weeds keeping it down. To be honest, but uh, yeah, um, it seems to be laid on a base of sharp sand, which you would put down for a, a hardcore um, surface like paving, block paving, or or um, slabs so uh, yeah it's almost had the same foundation as a, a patio so not a lot of um, chance for the art the sort of organic soil um, invertebrates and microorganisms to function under a dark impermeable blanket of uh, of artificial turf and I was saying that the roots of those weeds and the moss have managed to get through it. <laughs> but yeah, um, and then off we go.
So the bulk of this seed mix going in is white clover, red clover, daisy, self heal, hawkspit, <laughs> um, red clover, hawkspit, uh, even some oxide daisy because they respond well, they're being mown regularly and flower for a long, long time. Um, and other stuff in there I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, ladies' bed straw. Um, yeah, the whole variety of colourful stuff, um, which will be maintained probably on a monthly basis and not scalped every month, just kept at a, a decent height so that the plants respond and churn out some flowers. Uh, and who knows, in the spring, might uh, might put some premium pr plugs in here as well. See what the customer thinks. Anyway, I'll start scattering seeds around. Stay tuned. And that is pretty much the job done. Seeds in and then firmed down, uh, which looks amazing, speeded up. And uh, yeah, that was it. I did return um, after a quick trip to the shops to get some netting and pinned the netting to the fence and to the wooden beam at the very front of the frame there that the turf was attached to just to keep the birds off so that they didn't feast on all the uh, all the seeds um, and I will go back in a couple of weeks time just to see how it's all doing we've had quite a bit of rain in the meantime very very mild weather so these seeds should germinate pretty quickly hope you've enjoyed it see you in the next one